Hey everyone, long time no see. Sorry I've been MIA, but life just has been really hectic. So today I'm going to be doing a massive, a massive Candles by Victoria haul. Um, it's a combination of two orders. I placed one in December and one in January. Um, so let's just get right into it. It is going to be a long video. So if you're somebody that doesn't like long videos, you can go ahead and exit out now. I'm not doing this in any order. I'm just literally pulling things out of the box and going through it. So let's get started. First one I have is a nine ounce mason jar. I'm sorry about the lighting. The lighting in my room sucks. And I got it in forbidden fantasy type. Now when I was placing this order... Um, for some reason, I was thinking it was the dupe for Britney Spears' perfume fantasy because I believe Victoria used to carry it. Um, and they are single wicked. Um, but it's the Victoria's Secret dupe. It's not the Britney Spears dupe, but this smells really good. You get the fruity perfume type note. I like it. It's not bad. I've never tried the Victoria's Secret kind. I usually just wear Bombshell or Heavenly. But that's nice. It's a very nice, um, light, delicate, perfumey scent. Okay. Then I got this. This is called Pie in a Jar. And I believe they're 8 ounces. And I got it in Country Berry Hotcakes. And I'll show you why. And then the top is just like a typical mason jar. It just pulls off like that. I'm going to let that sit there and see if I can adjust my light a little better. I apologize. Let me just move a few things. Okay. I think that's a little better. So it's called Pie in a Jar and look how cute this is. Victoria apparently used to have this design years ago and, and a customer had showed her that she still had her saved so Victoria decided to bring it back. Um, this top crust will always be I believe Granny's pie crust. So you'll want to get it in a bakery scent because I don't think you would want to mix like tropical with um, like a pie crust scent. And these are so cute. I believe these this was ten fifty, and I love country berry hotcakes. It just smells like a bunch of creamy berries and I first started when I first started buying candles by Victoria LaPook always used to talk about country berry hotcake so I tried it back then and I've been hooked on it ever since it's a really really good creamy berry pancakey type scent but mostly berry okay then I got this large beveled jar and it looks like this. And there are some duplicate scents because I'm getting old and, you know, I'm starting to get dementia. No, really, I'm not getting dementia. I'm not, not, knock, not knocking on people that have dementia either, but it's just like a running joke at my job. Because, um, you know, I'm getting older. And I did order some of the same scents, so you will see some duplicates. Um, but I got this jar in Blueberry Cheesecake, one of my other favorite scents that I was first introduced to by LaPook. And look at all this oil. Just extra goodness and I love it just the creamy blueberry note now it doesn't really smell like cheesecake per se but it definitely you know that blueberry goodness that I like Sorry, I was covering that back up. But like I said, creamy blueberry. Not so much a cheesecake type scent. Even though it's blueberry because you could just a very creamy, creamy blueberry scent. Then I got another large beveled jar in Snowstorm, which is a scent that is likened to another. But Victoria no longer carries it. And it makes me so sad because I would have stocked up on a ton of it. It is um, violet and peppermint or mint. One of those but it's so good. It has a soapy type scent and it has powdery and you can smell the mint and the violet and I would never mix those two scents together in my life but they do smell amazing together and it smells what it is supposed to be smelling like but 10 times stronger. It smells so good. So so good. Okay. 
Then I got a cylinder candle. They look like this, so if you want to compare them to the bevel jar, the bevel jar is slightly bigger. These are 16 ounces. I want to say this is 18 or 20. I don't remember. But I got this one in heavy metal, which is once again, it is supposed to smell like something else. It has that candy, candy plasticky, chemical bubble gum type scent and that's not a bad thing because that's exactly what it's supposed to smell like but I cannot mention the company so we will not um it smells really good one of my all-time favorite scents will always be so good let's try and rearrange all that okay. then I got another nine ounce mason jar and I got it in peppermint bark and it smells just like peppermint bark. You can smell the white chocolate and the peppermint and a little bit of the dark chocolate. I love the scent. It'll always be a staple for me to order around the holidays, but I didn't get a chance to burn it. I have a lot going on, but I'm not a seasonal melter or burner anyway, so I will burn this all year round. So if you're looking for a seasonal Christmassy type scent. I definitely recommend peppermint bark, but like I said, I will burn it in the middle of summer. Okay. Then I got a 16 ounce jar and I got it in sugared spruce and I apologize. I am very rusty and the 16 ounce jars are single wicked and sugar spruce just smells like a sugary pine Christmas tree scent so like Christmas tree with sugar so it's kind of sweet and kind of piney and it makes it so amazing and this is such a authentic Christmas tree scent it smells so so good I love it love it love it love it love it like I said I will burn this all year round so so good then I got a 16 ounce squatty jar now i saw somebody had posted this create a scent on her facebook page and it sounded amazing i totally forgot to name it so they just picked the name for it but it is um cherry chip cupcake and what was the other one um roasted marshmallow toasted marshmallow cupcake something like that and they said it smells just like funfetti cake and that sounded right up my alley and these are 16 ounces and double wicked. And this smells just like Funfetti cake. It's so, so good. You get that cakey note and like a sweet type of vanilla icing note and vanilla cake. That smells really, really good. Definitely. So thank you to whoever it was that came up with this because it smells so good and amazing. I cannot wait to see what that smells like warmed. Then I got this 24 ounce ribbed jar. Look how hefty this thing is. And I'm sure if you've been watching me for a while now, you can guess what scent I got it in. My all time favorite scent, Bath Time with Poo, which is supposed to smell like something else. And it is double wicked. And you can smell the honey, the toffee. And it has a soapy note to it as well. And it's just amazing. If you are new to CBV and you're looking for scent suggestions, I definitely suggest trying Bath Time with Poo. You will not be disappointed. It's so, so good. I can sit here and sniff this all day. It's amazing. So good. And it's strong. Definitely has a stronger scent than what it's supposed to smell like. Okay. Then I got this elegance jar. Looks like that. And I got it in Rock That Vanilla. And I believe this is 20 ounces. And it is, you can see, a single wick. And it smells like what it's supposed to smell like. Again, I cannot say that company. But it smells like strawberries and cream 
and doesn't really have like a soap note but it's a very strong strawberries and cream but not I don't know how to explain it because it doesn't really smell like strawberry but that is the description um, and it has like a powdery type note but it smells so so good I love that scent as well I stocked up on a lot of my favorites then I got another nine ounce jar in pink bubblegum crush and it smells like what it's supposed to smell like very sweet girly fruity like a overpoweringly sweet kind of scent sugary fruity bubble gummy well not really bubble gummy but so good and it's it smells what it's supposed to smell like once again i cannot name that company okay then i got these are the eight ounce jelly jars if you want to see and these are the nine ounce and i got this in champagne pomegranate And you immediately smell the fizzy pop in here. You can smell the carbonation and the bubbles. And the and the pomegranate. Oh, the scent is so good. My mom loves this one as well. I love all of Victoria's effervescent type scents because you can actually feel the carbonation and like the bubbles. It's amazing. I don't know how she does it. And I got coconut lemongrass in an 8 ounce jar. You can smell the coconut, you can smell the lemongrass. It's heavier on the lemongrass with hints of coconut. It's a very herbal type lemongrass and green, but the coconut just adds something extra special to it. It's a very nice, relaxing, calming type scent to me. Very clean. It smells so good, I love lemongrass. Then I got another 9 ounce jar and I got it in Bombshell which is a perfume from a company that I like to wear and it smells just like it. I actually have this scent in a re-diffuser on my desk at work and everybody always compliments it. It's a very sultry, powdery type scent. Um, from what I read online perfume is actually a good mosquito repellent as well I didn't know that but this does smell like what it's supposed to perfumey powdery kind of with hints of floral I don't know the exact sense I should have probably printed them out but it does smell like bombshell okay. let's see what else then this is always a staple that I love to order the three ring circus candle and it is 18 ounces and it's in a love victoria jar it's part of the bake shop line so it's got the cotton candy down here and then throughout right here it's got little peanuts and caramelized pralines and then this is strawberry cotton candy on top with the whipped wax and then it's got caramelized praline peanuts and little sprinkles all over and it is double wicked and it smells so good. Right now, all I can smell is, let me see, I'll take off some of this plastic for you. Um, right now, all I can smell is the caramelized pralines and the sugar. And the strawberry cotton candy. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm sorry, my lighting in here is not doing any of these justice. These are gorgeously colored. And then Victoria made an announcement on her Facebook page that she was getting rid of the um, the 24 ounce mustard jars because this I don't remember why. So I had to run out and get one that I liked. So I got the mustard jar. They are 24 ounces in the chocolate fudge cinnamon sugar cookie. 
and you can see it's got swirling throughout. I know it's got sugar cookie and other scents in it, maybe Cinnabon. And then the top looks like this. It's got the little wax crumbles on top. It's double wicked and all I can smell right now is a cinnamon bakery scent, which actually smells really good. I'm not a fan of cinnamon, but this isn't real heavy on the cinnamon. Oh, that smells so good. I had one of these in the 16 ounces, and it was amazing when burning. I can't wait because all the different layers and when they melt together, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, let's keep moving along. So then I'll show you this. This is the large bread pan candle. And I've forgotten how many wicks it has. Three, six, something like that. You can get it with or without the wicks. And it was this is $40 in case anyone's wondering. And of course, I got it in a blueberry cheesecake. And I suggest getting a good bakery scent you like because the topping, I believe, is cinnamon and a nut type topping that's sprinkled all over the top um you can't get there's no option to get it without the topping so i got it with blueberry cheesecake in it smells so good so so good mm, i really like that and this thing is hefty i forgot maybe 34 ounces something like that but yeah that thing is big so i'll just put that over there And I have caramelized pralines in the 8 ounce jelly jar. I love caramelized pralines. Um, say Anything Brooke years ago used to rave about this all the time. And that's why I tried it. Because it doesn't seem like a scent that I would have ever tried on my own. But you get this caramely nutty scent. And it's so, so good. Like a creamy caramel and nut. It's really, really good. I like it. All right, we're making a dent in this box. Then I got another all-time favorite. Peanut butter cookies in the nine ounce jar. And you get peanut butter and a bakery note. It smells really good. I wouldn't say it's like a peanut, like a peanut butter cookies, but it's a peanut butter and a bakery note. And I love it. It's so good. And you get like a sugary component to it as well. Mm, that's really good. All right, this is another scent suggestion that I suggest you, if you're interested to try as well. Sorry about my uh, crappy descriptions. Like I said, I'm very, very rusty. I got another 8-ounce jelly jar in... Indonesian Delight and this is a house blend so every time I've tried it it's always smelled a little different because Victoria, Chelsea, Matt, <coughs> sorry, and Wade they mix up the scent by hand because it's a house blend it's not like pre-made or anything and this is a very creamy fruity type scent with a hint of floral and now everyone knows I'm not big on florals but because it's more fruity than it is floral this is really nice. And you get like a creamy, maybe coconut milk. I forgot what was in this. But it's so good. It's not heavy on the floral. It's more heavier on the fruit, which is what I like. Because I'm not like a really big floral fan. Then I got another 16 ounce squatty mason jar and I forgot to mention I had another one of these in lemongrass but I gave it to my mom because she asked me to order it for her. This one is in fizzy pop, another scent staple. And to me this smells like ginger ale, straight up ginger ale. You can smell the effervescence, you can smell the carbonation, the bubbles on your nose. A lot of people say this smells like maybe like 7-Up or Lemon Lime, but this smells like ginger ale to me. And my mom thinks it smells like ginger ale as well. I always need to have this scent in stock. So I ordered more. Alright. 
Then I got a Love Victoria, and I'm kind of sad that there's no more glitter options, but I can see why they don't do it anymore. It's probably very time consuming and very messy. And I got this in Love Potion number nine. And this is a very like sensual, oh, sorry if you hear the boys. Um, Elliot just started puberty, so he's kind of ornery lately. Um, if you didn't know, I got another guinea pig named Elliot. So now we have Spencer Benson Elliot. Um, but back to La Poche number nine. It's like a very sultry, I don't want to, like, kind of sexy, sensual scent. Um, this did used to come in a massage lotion candle, so. But it's kind of perfumey, kind of sultry and fruity. I told you I'm horrible at descriptions. I need to up my game again. Um, I would say this is a lighter type scent, so I'm, I don't remember how it was when I, I used to, I had it in a Love Victoria before, but I want to say it was strong when melting, but right now it's very light, but these were just poured because I got this, or I got this one the other day, so this one still needs to cure. Okay. All right. Then I got chocolate sandalwood spice another scent staple you smell this um the sandalwood and the spice and i don't remember exactly what the spice was in here with a hint of the chocolate and like i've said in many videos i would have never thought to put these scents together but together they smell amazing it's so good it's like a very relaxing type scent to me i don't know but i recommend trying that one as well and I got another 16 ounce jar and of course I got it in snowstorm which I just talked about before violet violet and mint so so good so let's just move keep on moving okay so then I got a scoop some scent I believe there's 16 ounces and it's 17.50 and I got it in white ginger. And I remember Ashton used to love this. So, hey, girl. And the scoop some scent is in whipped wax. And, whoo, whoo. and it comes with a cute little wooden scoop that I have tons of. And white ginger to me. Now, I go to the... Paul Mitchell hair salon and when I walk in this is what it reminds me of they use that ap apui apui I'm probably totally butchering it um white ginger type shampoo and this is what it reminds me of and it smells so good Elliot be good honey um I don't even know how to describe it it's really good Sorry about that. Somebody in my family was walking by and I didn't want to be interrupted. So I stopped talking. <laughs> um, like I said, it's slightly floral and sweet. I, I honestly don't know how to describe it, but it's such a good scent. Then I got another elegance jar. And I got it in mango peach salsa. And it smells exactly what it, what it says. You can smell the mango and the peach, and it smells like a juicy, ripe mango and a juicy, ripe peach. But it has like a little kick, spicy note to it because of the salsa component. I think this is supposed to be likened to another company's scent. I'm not sure. But this one smells really, really, really good. Just a nice, juicy, tropical summer scent. Then I got Cocoa Beach Baby Peach. Boys, let's behave, please. Thank you. Um, mm, you smell the peach and the coconut and the creamy component from, like, I think it's coconut milk. 
and it smells like a ripe juicy peach blended with coconut milk it's so good my mom always wants me to order her this one as well and i remember my friend louise in england hey girl always um i used to send her some candles by victoria before they shipped international and i was used to send her some coco beach baby peach elliot elliot boys sorry like i said elliot's going through puberty so he's ornery and benson keeps challenging him but on with the show hawaiian wedding cake i love this scent hi hi let's be nice you get pineapple and a cakey note so good but it's not like pineapple upside down cake because i don't get the like the cherry and the brown sugar it's just pineapple and cake so good i love it mm. i'm allergic to pineapples to eat but i love the smell of pineapples okay. then i got viva la juicy and i used to wear this all the time and it smells just like viva la juicy perfume so good and this is very strong as well so this is going to throw amazingly Okay, just a few more things thanks for hanging in with me um my friend michelle suggested that i try this scent and it's citrus zest and it's a rather new scent in victoria's line and i can smell a fit the fizzy pop in here and i want to say it has like lemon lime grapefruit all of that so it's a very citrusy fizzy scent and it's so so good i want to say maybe satsuma in here very good and very strong i apologize for my children then i got tiffany d which i want to say is like a watermelon um watermelon cantaloupe and cake i don't remember cotton candy but this is really good. I remember the first time I tried it, for some reason, I did not like it. It made me want to throw up. But I keep ordering it over the years, and now I love it. It's so good. It's a very, like, girly, like, 90s girl type scent it reminds me of, is how I'm going to describe it. Ha <laughs> ha, leave Spencer alone, please. I apologize for my children once again. They've been behaving all day. I don't know why. Now they want to act up. I got diamonds and pearls, and this is a combination of two scents, and I don't even remember what they are, so I apologize. Okay, so when my mom smelled this, she said it reminds her of old lady perfume. But, I mean, it kind of does, but it's got the perfumey and sweet accent. I really like it. I forgot what it was a combination of. Why can't I remember? It's... It is after midnight, so my brain is not functioning right now. But it's really good. It's got like a powdery type note, and it's very perfumey. I like it. Okay. Then, in my most recent order I got in January, she was having you get a free mystery loaf if you spend $50 or more. So, this is mine, and the top layer is green and it smells like mint. Just like straight up mint. So maybe it's spearmint but thank you cbv for that then i got another eight ounce jar in white nectarine and pink coral i'm craving summer and you could immediately smell the white nectarine it's very strong very juicy tropical scent oh, so good it just screams summer i need summer back i'm over but today was 70 new jersey so i guess i can't complain but it's supposed to snow thursday so good if you want a juicy tropical summery type scent definitely get white nectarine and pink coral and i like the scent that's a play off of this one peachy pink coral that one is good as well just a few left then i got this square candle and it's 16 ounces and i got it in sunflower which is supposed to smell like the perfume from the 90s i was a kid but my mom always used to buy it for me, I guess, because it was cheap. And it smells just like it. It just brings me back. My mom used to wear that in Vanilla Fields. That smells so good. It smells just like the perfume. 
And then the last candle I got is this big, oh, there's this peanut on it, is this big coffee cup. And it's double wicked. And of course, I got it in my beloved Elvis. And this is 23 ounces. And that's peanut butter and banana. And you can equally smell peanut butter and banana. And I love Victoria's banana scent because it's like that banana, like that candied banana runt type scent with peanut butter. So, so good. I love Elvis. Okay. Then I just have a couple of scent shots. And let me see if I remember what my free ones were. Um, so I got Bum Bum type to try. Apparently it's after some kind of butt cream or Brazilian butt lotion. I don't know. I'm probably making that up. Um, it smells good. It's a very powdery floral type scent. Um... I don't know. I've never smelt the lotion, so I don't have anything to compare it to. But it's nice. It's very light. I would say like a spa type scent. I got Wintry Candy Apple, which is a dupe for Bath and Body Works. Uh, Winter Candy Apple it smells just like it. A sweet candied apple scent. But this one's stronger than Bath & Body Works, which I love. So good. Okay. Then I got Treasure Island, which I had years ago and loved. Um, you immediately smell fruit and, like, coconut milk. It's a creamy, fruity scent. I forgot what's in it. But it's this gorgeous dark purple color. Very good. And I just got this in my most recent order, so it needs to cure a little, but it smells awesome. That's so good, so good, so good. Then I got Mahogany, which is a new-to-me okay. scent, and I love it. It smells, my mom was saying this too, it reminds her of something else. Like, it smells like something else, but we can't put our finger on what it is. It kind of smells almost floral to me, but it smells good. I have to think of what it smells like, but we both couldn't figure it out. Sorry, I hit the camera with my fat hand. So, so good. My mom thought it was going to smell like wood, but to me it kind of smells floral. But I like it. It's not like... Uh, it's a floral, floral type kind of scent to me without smelling flowery, if that makes sense. And then I got Palm Island, which I actually got years ago and I liked it. And it's been a while. It's a very spa ocean type scent. I wouldn't say a green type scent. It's not like salted, e like a salty scent either, but it's like a spa type scent. It just reminds me like if you walk into a spa, that's what it would smell like. So good. I almost smell like grapefruit in there. I don't know. It could be my nose that's wonky. And this was one of my free scent shots, and I don't know what happened to the other one. But this is Breakfast Bliss, and I want to say this is like strawberry and French toast. I could be wrong, but I definitely get, like, that strawberry Danish salty note, which is good. It's kind of like that candied strawberry, and then I get a pancakey French toast type note, which is not bad. I noticed over the years, like, my scent preferences are changing, so it'll be interesting to see when I melt them. So that is both of my huge candle by Victoria orders. Thank you for sticking with me, putting up with me, my horrible scent descriptions, and my ornery children. Um, I might be making a couple more videos. We'll have to see. Like I said, life is crazy. My job, we now work longer shifts at work. So I'm usually tired. I work 2 p.m. to midnight. So when I come home, I just want to, you know, like relax and then go to bed. And then do it all again the next day. So I hope you guys are having a great start to 2020 and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.